Number one says, Maya is visiting Paris to see the Eiffel Tower. She is 80 feet away when she spots it. To see the top, she has to look at an 85.7 degree angle. So how tall is the Eiffel Tower? Um, so let's draw a right triangle that represents this situation. So here would be the Eiffel Tower, and then Mai is standing 80 feet away from it, which we know would make a right angle. And then this would be the angle that she's looking up at the, at the top of the Eiffel Tower. And they told us that that is 85.7 degrees. We're looking for this height, and we know that the length of this segment is 80 feet. <clears throat> so we're going to set up... Um, a trig function here. So we have the angle. So we want to label the sides based on the angle. So this H is opposite of the angle. So here's the angle. <clears throat> the H is directly across from that. So this would be the opposite side. And then the 80 feet is next to that angle. So that's the adjacent side. So we know that opposite side with the adjacent side is the tangent function. So we would do tangent of our angle equals the opposite divided by the adjacent. So in this case, our angle is 85.7. Our opposite side is H and our adjacent side is 80. So type in um, tangent of 85.7 into your calculator and you will get 13.3 um, and that equals H over 80. So then uh, you can think of this as a proportion and then we just need to cross multiply 80 times uh, that 13.3 and when you do that um, you get 1,064 feet. Number two, find the mis missing measurements of the right triangle. Um, so we'll go ahead and look for um, this segment AC. We will also look for segment AB. And we will also look for angle B. So when we set this up, there's going to be a lot of different ways that you can do this. I'm going to use the given information. So I'm going to use the fact that they gave me this 27 degree angle and set up the my trig function with this. So the 12 is the opposite side. And then I'm first going to look for side AC, which is right next to the 27. So this is the adjacent side um, because we know that orange side is the hypotenuse. So when I go ahead and solve for AC, opposite side with the adjacent is a tangent function. So we have tangent of the angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent. The angle in this case is 27. The opposite side is 12, and the adjacent side is side AC that we're looking for. So we will type in the tangent of 27 into our calculator to get um, 0 0.5095 equals 12 over AC. Then we can look at this as a proportion, and we'll be able to cross multiply. So then we're going to have um, 0 0.5095 times segment AC is equal to 12. So then we'll divide by um, 0 0.5095 to both sides. And this will get us that AC is equal to... Um, 23.6 and so now once you've found that this is 23.6 you certainly can set up another trig function so you could set up a sine function with opposite and hypotenuse to find the orange um, you can also do Pythagorean theorem if you would like 
And so I'm going to do the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that the hypotenuse squared will equal the two legs, 23.6 squared and 12 squared, when we add those together. Um, 23.6 squared is 556.96. And then 12 squared is 144. So we'll add those together and we get 700. 0.96. Then we will square root both sides and we get that side AB is equal to um, 26.5. So then we know this is 26.5. And then the final measurement in the triangle that we need is this angle. Remember, these two angles always total 90 since we already have 90 used up here. So for angle B, we will just do 90 minus 27. So we know that angle B um, is equal to 63 degrees. Number three, the gateway arch in St. Louis, Missouri is 630 feet tall. Priya can look up at a 50 degree angle to see the top. How far away from the base must she be standing? So we're looking for how far away she is or this blue segment. And we know that when she looks to the top that that's a 50 degree angle. So we know this is a right triangle here. Here's where Priya is standing. We're looking for this measurement. We know when she looks to the top of the tower, it's a 50 degree angle. And we know that the tower is 630 feet tall. So if we label these um, sides based on this angle, so we are given this 50 degree angle, the side across from it is the opposite side. And then um, the side next to it is the adjacent side. Then we know that the function that sets up the opposite and the adjacent is the tangent function. So we do tangent of the angle equals the opposite divided by the adjacent. So we will do tangent of 50 is equal to the opposite side, which is 630, divided by the adjacent side, which is x. So if we type tangent of 50 into our calculator, we get 1.1917. That equals 630 divided by x. We'll multiply the x up. So we'll be at 1.1917 times x is equal to 630. Then we'll divide both sides by 1.1917. So 630 divided by 1.1917. Um, gives us a length or a distance that she's standing away of about 528.7 feet. Number four, based on the figure, which equation is true? So we've got this, we can look here, it has all 32 degree angles. So let's look at this 32 and label the sides. So directly across from this side, the 8.5 is the opposite. And then the X is the hypotenuse since it's across from the 90. So if we look at this first one, we have a sine function and we know that the sine function is always equal to the um, opposite divided by the hypotenuse. And so if we look at this one, we have 8.5 is the opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which is x. So a is our good equation. So we can look at the rest just to make sure that they are not true. So x was the hypotenuse and 8.5 was the opposite. And sine is equal to opposite on top, hypotenuse on bottom. So that's wrong. Cosine, okay, so the 8.5 is the opposite side and the x is the hypotenuse, but our cosine function should be the adjacent side. So we should have had the adjacent side here, so that's wrong. Um, and then same thing with this one. This has the hypotenuse over the opposite, 
And we know that cosine needs to be adjacent over hypotenuse, so that one would be bad. Number five, Kieran is flying a kite. He gets tired, so he stakes the kite to the ground. The kite is on a string that is 12 feet long and makes a 45 degree angle with the ground. How high is the kite? So we're looking for this. You can certainly use trig for this, but this is also a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So we know that um, each leg is the same and that they are a square root of two factor smaller than the hypotenuse. So we take the hypotenuse and divide by square root two and that will give us our side length. So this side length would be 12 divided by the square root of two. All right, number six has us matching the ratio of the side length to the corresponding angle measure. So let's take a look in the column that it's asking about. So this first one has us looking at the adjacent over the hypotenuse and looking for approximately a 0.139 ratio. So if we look here, that's going to be even further down. Okay, so 0.17 is the smallest in our table. So our ratio is going to be below that, meaning that it's going to be bigger than 80 degrees. So that leaves number five for that one. Next one has opposite over adjacent. So that's this third column. And we're looking for 0.249. So 0.249 is between this 0.17 and 0.36, which is somewhere between 10 and 20 degrees. So the only angle here between 10 and 20 is number one. C has us looking at the opposite over the hypotenuse looking for 0.469. So 0.469 is somewhere between 20 and 30 since it's between these two. So between 20 and 30 would be our 28 degree angle. So that's number two. Num um, D has us looking at the adjacent over the hypotenuse and looking for a 0.682. So that's somewhere here between 0.64 and 0.76, so between 40 and 50. So that's going to be our 47 degree angle. And then that would leave number four left for E. Number seven in the right triangle is shown. The measure of angle ABC is the same as the measure of EBD. What is the length of side BE? So since we have these two angles are equal and they both have 90 degree angles, we know these triangles are similar. So we'll be able to determine the scale factor by comparing two corresponding sides. So we see these two sides. Um, and so if we do the scale factor, that takes us from this larger triangle to the smaller triangle. The scale factor is going to be the new length, 3, divided by the original length, 5. And then that's what we're going to want to do um, to find BE is take its original side and multiply by the scale factor. So we're going to take this um, 13 here and multiply by the scale factor. So BE is going to equal 13 times um, 3 fifths, which is 39 divided by 5 which as a de decimal is 